this lovely little box, we have a 4000 watt xenon lamp, which was very kindly given to us from a nice chap called John Gildert. And he's from Bolton up north, and he rescued this lamp from a cinema what went over to 4K projection. He's had it for some time, and he thought, I know, I'll give it to Photonic Induction, and he can crank it up stupid. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to put 4,000 watts through this lamp, and we're going to observe how bright it is. I'm sure. <laughs> In fact, I know <laughs> it's going to be very good. So thank you very much, John. With any high pressure lamp, especially short arc xenons, safety is very important. Gloves and a visor is an absolute must. This is the 4 kilowatt xenon lamp. On the left hand side you can see the cathode, which is that small electrode. On the right hand side is the anode, which is the bigger one. That is the positive one. The electrons come from that cathode and bombard that anode. The anode is therefore bigger because it has to absorb all that energy. Let's uh, have a little bit of fun now and power this thing up. We're going to run both of these xenon lamps on an arc welder, which is naturally low voltage DC, but these lamps do require lots of amps. The big bulb there, probably 500 to 700 amps, that small lamp 135 amps. Voltage required 40 volts approximately. Here goes our first test with the uh, 4 kilowatt xenon lamp. We're running it on uh, an arc welder. Let's do it. DC is there. Now we're going to go ignition just for a second or so. That works a train. That was pretty bright. That's just the welder. Yes. Let's give you a wide shot on that. DC's on. Yeah. Now what we need to do of course is see if that big lamp fires up on that igniter. If it does, mm, that's good news. Let's try. Got batteries and the welder. Just for big resistance, it should. That's just the welder now. That's minimum, a bit more. Chalky topping. Yes, I'm uh, a bit blinded at the moment. Do it at a distance. Do it really low first. Turn it up. Oh, it does get bright, don't it? Nice colour, don't it? Cool, it's, it's pure, pure white, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? It's like smoking now. The woods and chair, the chair smoking. The chair? Yeah, I'm seeing smoke.
here, that's 20 amps. Really intense, isn't it? Not get a close up of that. Let's get me visor and gloves <laughs> and get a close up. Five, yeah. Yeah. Well, tell us when. Go on then. That's it. Oh, couldn't get near it. The, a fly went on the bulb and started smoking. Yeah. yeah. It might pop the lamp like that. Should try the hot race drive on it. Hot race drive? Yeah. It's still tense, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, yeah, it does your eyes in a bit, doesn't it? Can't really focus on it, can you? Yeah, that's bright enough, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Lovely lamps, aren't they? Still, still red out. Though. Should take a while to cool down. Ten minutes cool down. Can't be, innit? At least. Oh, I smell the ozone. Oh, smell it, yeah. Well, I'm on your skin. Love ozone, isn't it? That's going to do damage, at it, isn't it? Mind your eyes. That mercury vapor smell, would it? When the ozone would. So that's the welder. Yeah. The weld is flat out on that. Can't oh, smell it from here. Yeah. Got a UV in there, don't it? Come on. Oh, I think the lamp's gone. It's gone, isn't it? Something's melted, isn't it? Something went. Careful.
Uh, we've melted it. Should have had it water cool. Wouldn't think that'd pop that, would you? Unless it's safe now. I popped it. What was melted, didn't I? At the anode, I think. Nice little bit. It's a bit shot. Oh well, nice display bulb now. Yeah, we should have walked a call did it. I didn't think we'd have to at four kilowatt. There's no zen on in that now. Did you hear it? Yeah. It's a bit opaque, isn't it? It's sure it's clearer than that, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh well, nice display piece. And I haven't got to worry about fucking 10 car batteries. <laughs> but it won't have the brightest lamp in the world now. Oh well, it worked. At least we saw it on, briefly. <laughs> 